Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI, and this is a 44-year-old female who complains of knee pain for about one week. She's had no abnormal activities, no prior trauma, just knee pain that won't go away. And on this MRI of the knee, we see a view where the marrow is bright, the fatty marrow is bright, subcutaneous fat is bright, and there's a region of darkness in the medial femoral condyle. This is the medial side, inner side, and this round area here is the condyle, and it articulates with the tibia down here. This is the lateral knee joint. We have the lateral condyle of the femur, and this is the lateral tibial plateau. The lateral side looks great, and the medial side we see this abnormal low signal where the fatty marrow looks dark. And beneath the articular surface we see more of a dark band. Over here things are just the opposite. The marrow is suppressed. It's really dark in this area that's bright. That's the marrow edema. You can see that thickening here. That's subarticular trabecular microfracture. So it's a subchondral insufficiency type fracture of the knee. Often we see these in people who have a tear of the meniscus root. This dark band is the meniscus. They have a tear sometimes in the posterior horn or meniscus root, and the meniscus doesn't do a good job, and then they get this abnormal stress on the femur or the tibia. In this case, the meniscus looks intact, so there's no meniscus tear that's causing this. So this is just a case of what we call insufficiency fracture. She may have osteoporosis or some other problem that's causing her bones to be weak and she's getting again the trabecular microfracture and the reactive marrow edema. In the past we used to call this spontaneous osteonecrosis. They thought it was AVN or osteonecrosis but now they realize it's actually just an insufficiency type of fracture and again when we see this we always look for the meniscus tear that's associated with it. In this case which is rare, I don't see a meniscus tear, so it's just the insufficiency fracture. And what's important to note, if there is collapse of that articular surface. This is a sagittal view, a side view, and we see the femur here, the rounded condyle, and beneath the articular surface, we see a little black line, that's that trabecular microfracture, a little insufficiency type fracture is developing, but again, there's no collapse of that articular surface. So we're catching it early enough. And that's it, an insufficiency type fracture. These are about three times more common in women than men. Usually patients are a little bit older, like older, older than 50. And this patient's young, she's 44, but it still looks like an um, uh, insufficiency fracture of the medial femoral condyle.